So during my trip to Africa, we stopped also in Malawi, where less than 10% of all girls finish high school. Perhaps the most shocking reason, many mothers there pressure their daughters to drop out. It's a tradition one woman is fighting to change, one girl at a time. If you want to know why Malawi is called the warm heart of Africa, just look at how a village welcomes a total stranger. As we traveled throughout this African nation, we saw beauty at almost every turn. But Malawi also has a dark side. In a ritual dating back centuries, these older women are initiating young girls, some only 12 and 13 years old. The girls are told it's their duty to find a husband and to start having children. This time, the ceremony is a reenactment for us, but in some remote villages, this kind of pressure is still very real. How young are these girls getting married? Um, 13 at 14, 15 years. Pauline used to think marriage was her only option. Even her own mother told her school was a waste of time. There was nobody who can pay for my school fees, so she suggested that I should drop out. Even though Malawi outlawed child marriage a few years ago, it's still a serious problem. Almost half of all girls are married with children before they turn 18. Parents, especially mothers, expect their daughters to have children, get married, be a good wife, and have, have children. Nobody even talks about careers or jobs? No, not at all. Not, not for the girl. Madala Samati thinks girls deserve more. I was born a defiant child. I questioned most of the things, <laughs> even though everything around me was telling me that, uh, you know, as a girl, you're weak, you're not smart enough. But Madalo knew better because her mother and her grandmother were lucky. Both received educations. You invest in one girl, you have invested in so many. And that's the simple idea behind the organization she now leads. Its mission, to pay to keep these girls in school and show them a better way. They have power inside of them to be anything that they can be words of encouragement that inspired Pauline to stay in school, where she rose to the top of her class. Now she's a nurse at Malawi's biggest hospital, caring for babies and brand new mothers in the maternity ward. Is this your first baby? Yes. Oh, congratulations. Yes, thank you. A baby girl? Yes. What's her name? Success. Success? Yes. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I was the only girl. Pauline takes me to see how her own success has changed the lives of so many. She was able to build a new house for her mother. You must be so proud of your daughter. Hey, mama. She's very proud of me. I can tell she's proud of you. <laughs> and just outside, we meet children from the village and ask them if Pauline has inspired them to stay in school. Everybody? <laughs> to see how she's impacting not just her life, not just her family, but her community and the little babies that she's holding in her hands every day. She's like the light that will keep shining forevermore. And because of Pauline, a mother can now see a much brighter future for her daughter. What's your hope for your daughter? A nurse. A nurse. Yes. <laughs> Helping people like Pauline. Yes. <laughs> Pretty amazing. <laughs> Proof that one girl really can change the world. Pauline is not done dreaming. Wow. She wants to get her master's, her PhD. She's not done. Oh. And it really shows you that she's inspiring a community. As soon as she made money, she bought her mom a house. Wow. And that little baby named Success. She's yeah, going to have the, a the much more effects. successful future. That was awesome, Jenna. Oh, thanks. Wow. To learn more about how to help girls like her, by the way, through the Global Girls Alliance, visit today.com.